All right, MLB, live odds, sportsbookreview.com, and SBR odds. Check out the rating guide. Make sure you're betting with a trustworthy shop. Arroyo and Lackey, Cubs at home against the Reds. Cubs $2, no overnight totals at Wrigley. We expect a 10 or a 10 and a half. The fourth place, Chicago Cubs. Uh, a game under 500. The starting pitching's been off to a slow start. They had bullpen issues as well. What is the problem, Teddy? Well, look, we're talking about a team that is one game under 500, 18 and 19 right now. They're in the bottom three teams in the majors in terms of profitability so far this season. Only Miami and San Fran have been worse than the Giants on a little bit of a run right now. Uh, and you say, why? Well, one factor you can put, you can really point and say clearly this is a problem for Chicago. We talk about the starting pitching and that decline this season. Well, what's behind the declines? One of the things is that this squad defensively has gone through a major downgrade. Last year, they were one of the best defensive teams. They were the best defensive team in baseball based on park-adjusted defensive efficiency. That's paid. And you look at the BABIP numbers, batting average on balls in play, which is another measure of how good the defense is doing. That, uh, they were number one. And you look at the total zone rating, a stat that we haven't talked about a lot. Total zone rating from baseball reference is, in theory, how many plays a defense made versus how many they could have made. That's through the eye, the eye test of the folks tracking. It's a pretty good stat. There is human element involved. Last year, the Cubs were number one. And you look this year, number 19 in pay, number 21 in BABIP, number 19 in total zone reigning. What's happened? Well, gee, they don't have Dexter Fowler. Uh, his glove in the outfield is gone. And now you have Kyle Schwarber out there playing just about every day. That is about as big as a defensive drop-off that you can find as the Buster Only tweet clearly says from ESPN Stats and Info, last season the Cubs converted 93% of the fly balls into outs, best rate in baseball. This season they rank number 27th. That is a bad outfield defense compared to an elite outfield defense last year. It's affected the Cubs pitching in every way possible. Chicago is not as good a team this year as a result. No, that was ridiculous. You win the World Series and you let Fowler go and to boot he goes to St. Louis. Now they're hitting Schwarber leadoff as well. Only 17 games at AAA in his life. He's hitting 179. Here's Schwarber after going 0 for 3 on Sunday. I don't think the leadoff spot has changed what's been going on. I squared some balls, wasn't able to get a hit. It's part of the game. It's baseball. It's why it's a game of failure. And you have to learn from your mistakes and go with the good. It's a crazy game. It can put you in a great place or a bad place. You try to stay in the middle. That's the end of that quote. Lackey has been steady, 3-3 three and three with a 4-2-9, but the stuff's been better than results. Strikeout percentage up, ground ball percentage up, walks down from last year. Why are the Reds ahead of the Cubs in the standings, Teddy? Well, let's take a look at those defensive, the same defensive charts we looked at just a moment ago. The Reds' defense in 2017, the park-adjusted defensive efficiency, look at them. They're number one. The batting average on balls in play, look at them. They're number one. The T-Zone, look at them, number three. So it's Cincinnati's defense that has been exceptional so far this season, and it's paying off. You know, so you have a team that's playing good defense. You have Joey Votto. I mean, he's playing an MVP form this season. Ten home runs, 33 RBIs already. They've been dealing with pitching injuries. Homer Bailey and uh, Anthony Disclafani, a guy that we liked a lot last year. Brandon Finnegan on the DL. Tim Edelman have to go on the DL, but... Even with those pitching concerns, the defense and the lineup has done well enough to make Cincy a very profitable early season bet. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.